What is Futurism? Futurism is one of the most important Italian art movement, in the 20th century. It was founded in Milan by the Italian poet, Filippo Tommaso Marinetti. This movement aims to capture the dynamism, and energy of the modern world in art, and aimed at liberating Italy from the weight of the past. For this reason, the adherents of Futurism denounced the past, and, instead, glorify modernity. It is no wonder, therefore, that the Futurists emphasized speed, technology, youth, violence, and objects, such as cars, the airplanes, and the industrial city. Marinetti launched the movement in a series of violent manifestos, which begins with the initial manifesto of 20 February 1909, which reads, We declare that the world's splendor has been enriched by a new beauty, the beauty of speed. A roaring motor car, is more beautiful than the victory of Samanthris. As we can see, futurism is, in part, a reaction against the weight of Italy's cultural past. Marinetti likened his country to an immense Pompeii whitened with sculptures, and his followers wanted to fill in Venice's canals, and to dredge and widen the Grand Canal in order to turn it into a vast commercial port. Again, for this reason, futurist art and poetry are celebrations of speed, violence, war, and the impersonal beauty of machines. Drawing on the techniques of Cubism, the artist Umberto Boccioni, Carlo Cara, and Giacomo Bal, all depicted the movement by using simultaneous images of its successive phases, Boccioni's charge of the lancers with its strong diagonals, being a particularly good example. Although it has something in common with Dada, Futurism was primarily an Italian phenomenon. The closest British equivalent is Vorticism, which is said to have taken its name from Boccioni's slogan to the effect that artistic creation results from a vortex of emotion. Intensely nationalistic, the Futurists were enthusiastic in their support for Italy's invasion of Libya in 1911, and are often seen as having helped to create the climate that gave birth to fascism. The movement was short-lived, and Futurism was a spent force by the end of the First World War. Although Futurism was largely an Italian phenomenon, there were parallel movements in Russia. However, Russian Futurism was partly inspired by the Italian original, but developed along rather different lines. The Manifesto, a slap in the face of public taste, written by Vladimir Mayakovsky and others in 1912, captures the provocative tone, and a further manifesto of the following year, the word as such, speaks of the need to throw Pushkin, Dostoevsky, and Tolstoy overboard from the steamship of history. Rejecting with contempt the elusive tone of symbolist poetry, the Russian futurists sought to liberate the word from the weight of tradition, and to liberate the text from its old functions. Emphasizing both the phonic element in poetry and the visual power of experimental typography, Russian Futurism stresses the value of the self-sufficient word. The emphasis of the physical presence of the word is one of the sources of what Russian formalism would call, foregrounding. Jacobson's early essays, The Newest Russian Poetry, and Futurism, are important pointers to the links between Futurism and formalism. Russian Futurism is essentially a pre-revolutionary phenomenon, but Mayakovsky and his fellows also devoted their considerable energies to defending the October Revolution through various forms of agitprop. The exhibition of his own work organized by Mayakovsky, a year before he committed suicide in 1930, was an eloquent testimony to both the futurist heritage and the vibrancy of Soviet art before the rise of social realism.